Hi, I'm David Shaw, and this is a gauge that you can see is clearly not pointing at the zero mark. You can also tell that there's no pressure on this gauge. Wanted to show you a quick tip on how to fix this sort of issue in the field. Now there's lots of different types of gauges in the world and there are some tools like this that are made specifically for removing the needle from a gauge, but if you don't have this tool or you don't have time to wait to order this tool, then there are some ways that you can get the needle off. One of the ways to do that is to use two flathead screwdrivers like this. You just go underneath the needle from opposite directions, just be careful, you don't want to bend the post or anything. Give it some light wiggle and a little upward pressure and it'll come off. This one's been loosened a little bit, but you get the idea. Then you reposition the needle on the post so that it's pointing at zero. One other trick that you can do is give yourself a little bit of pressure on this system with another gauge in series so that you can tell exactly where it needs to be. But in this situation, we're using zero. You just tamp it back down, hit it with something softly to get it to be snug on the post, and then put the face back on. Now, once you've repositioned the needle, of course, you're going to want to test it again and make sure that it's reading correctly. Then if you need a certified gauge, of course, you're going to need it to send it to a company that can certify it for you. If you've got any questions about any of this, please give us a call. We're happy to talk to you about it.